Okay, welcome in slide number two. We need to create something which we will be able to often copy. Create a new slide. I'll delete everything and I'll come back to take my text and the secondary text. I'll go to this slide and I'll press Ctrl V. Now I need to select the first one and I need to select maybe the dark blue color. This could be like the main color of our presentation and this could be a complementary item maybe to a very light gray like the tagline of this slide. I'll click on it, I'll justify it to the left side, so align left and with my control and left bracket key I'll make that a bit smaller. Okay, since we selected letter for our text, I'll Ctrl C and Ctrl V it. I'll acknowledge that this is text by a hashtag. I'll Ctrl B and I'll make it bigger. Okay, this is just supposed to be an icon. Perfect. Now I'll copy the text once again. You can see I'm working on the items I already have. And now we need a text box. I'd like to come to the first slide because I have the lorem ipsum copied here and I'd like to take a few lines out of here. Alright, and this is a normal solid dark background. Just what we need to do, we need to select Leto font for it. I will justify the text. I'll take a brief look at the other Leto fonts. Hairline, light, well light is also cool medium, semi-bold, thin, well maybe the light one. The light one can be useful so let's have it somewhere here. And this would be like the base layout of our design, the base layout of our standard, very standard slide. Well not our design like here comes the title. I would like our presentation to use a lot of images and I will definitely need to select more and download more images. As an example, I want to for example select this one. I'm not entirely sure that this will look cool, but I want to show you what I'm about to do here. Crop, just a quick crop, and now comes the fun design part. If you have no idea how to make this more interesting. Alt, 2, select rectangle. Let me work with such rectangles. Format, shape fill, white, shape outline, no outline. Shift click, rotate them, well, 45 degrees, all right. Maybe it's a bit too big, it could be a bit longer, and let me start the design. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, boom. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, boom. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and boom. Now all will depend on the picture we use, but look what can be achieved with such simple things. Now it maybe doesn't look amazing, but wait a second. I will once again Alt 2 and I want to get rid of this part as well. This will be the entire customization of this slide. And I will select a suitable object and of course you can always rely on those rectangles. Because rectangles can be simply turned over. Do you remember what we learned previously? Click here, Format Painter, boom, I don't have to do it from scratch. Right click, Send to Back, so it's sent entirely to the back, and click on this image. Right click, Send to Back. Watch what happens, and I believe this part is should be also cut down. Shift F5 to preview what we achieved. Well, my screen is a bit bigger, so you don't see the right side, but I can see that those lines, I make them too big, and here it doesn't look consistent. Take this one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, place it here, make it like that, okay? So it's evenly cut. You want to have even spaces here everywhere and maybe I'll make those a bit smaller. I'll go to Format and I want the width to be 0.3 everywhere. I'll make sure it's equal. One last time you want here, send to back and on the picture, send to back. Now, every time I want to change the picture, for example, I would like to have this one. No problem. I delete the old picture. I place this send to back and I just crop it from the left side. Okay, like this. 
she's here crop boom we have a completely different design and i just need to make sure that i use the crop properly well here no problem it could be a bit wider that's really no problem and this picture isn't perfect for that because the face is invisible now the face should be revealed so i've selected a wrong picture i can see that you maybe think what the heck is going on here what's what is he doing but look on the left side don't you like the look and feel of this thumbnail and if something is lacking to you like for me i lack the red color and i lack something on the bottom in my opinion this slide would be done and if you don't like what you see here you can always click on this object right click edit points like you could add a point here and simply make it like that now it's a bit more cut off and you will see perfectly where the slide is finalized again add point make this smaller add point make this smaller and okay now the slide looks a bit better i will close this design here try to do something like that and i hope this will be very fun to you to perform